engines of cars heat up when you use them, so we were looking at using Sterling technology to recapture some of that wasted heat given off by the engine. Wasted heat can be harnessed in a novel way, and this wasted heat can come from sources such as the road or any hot surface. So one way that you can harness wasted heat is by a Stirling engine. And the way the Stirling engine is able to do this is by the two main constituents here, called the displacer, which is made of foam, and the power piston, which is made of graphite. You want to cool the top plate, and that's how the heat differential is created. And this engine requires a 51 degree differential to operate. So long as that differential is there, the Stirling engine will run. So theoretically, you could actually cool the bottom and heat the top, and the engine would actually run backwards. This is always the really nerve-wracking part, because the judges want to see it go. It's like, come on. We wanted to kind of try and harness this technology and get it applied in the world, because you don't really find many like applications of Sterling engines. And then, say, use it to charge the batteries of the car and, and a hybrid technology, so you have gasoline, battery-powered, and also Sterling-powered car. This is why our Sterling engine is extremely applicable, because it is a global application.